What's up, everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with my Gear VR, we are going to enter the Cursed Sanctum. So, really excited for this one. I was over on the Gear VR subreddit just looking for new stuff to try, and I kept seeing posts about this game as having the best graphics on Gear VR, and everybody's just raving about it. So, I said, What the hell? Threw my $3 in the ring, and uh, we're going to check it out. So, let's jump in and let's take a look at Cursed Sanctum. Oh, wow. Okay, so what I was reading over on the Gear VR subreddit was not incorrect. This is absolutely missing men, amazing. Missing women, missing children. A beast that nobody can describe. Coins given just to accept the task. A three day journey, a constant downpour of rain. I could have left with the coin and disappeared just like all the warriors before me. But I, Gunthar, son of Grom, gave my word. I'll get rid of the beast for the town's folk of Halund and come back a hero. Gunthar, son of Grom. Sounds Klingon. I guess in the real world, I guess that would make me Don, son of Don? I don't know. Anyway. All right, so man, right off the bat here in the beginning of the game, I gotta give him props for this. I mean, we've got awesome graphics we've got narration we've got music i mean it, it's it's really kind of just amazing how well all that ties a vr experience together so okay looks like we're coming up whoa hey oh easy darby girl. dragons we're almost there now easy girl all right let's get up there Man, this looks really good. It, it's almost like I'm, I'm sitting here going, man, I can't believe this is on Gear VR. You would expect it to be on Oculus Rift looking this decent. So, okay, so here we are, and we've hit our first choose-your-own-adventure element. And you know, I gotta say, back when I was in grade school, man, when we'd have the book fair come to town, that was the first table I ran to was the choose-your-own-adventure books. And, and it's so cool to see someone taking that and making it into a VR experience. So really, really liking that. All right, so we've got the choice to enter or leave. Well, obviously, we've come this far. We're not going to leave. We're going to enter. And it is a gaze-based uh, selection. Oh, cool. little third-person perspective for the transition here. Nice effect. Now, this is the first time I've played this, so we're all kind of taking this adventure together. Um, but man, loving this. The scale, the clarity, I, it, it's, it's, I don't know. This is definitely graphically standing head and shoulders above a lot of the other Gear VR titles I've played recently. But the only thing I'm not liking is the pacing. It seems like I'm really moving slow. But that that may just be me. I'm one of those guys who like runs through every game. The priests of Mamon. I thought they were just a myth. Stories told to children by their mothers. And yet here I stand in their cursed sanctum. Oh, that's cool how he stops walking so I can, like, look off to the side. Alright, very cool. 
props on that mechanic. I mean, you know, obviously it would be preferred to have free movement in this game. I did read a post by the developers and they kind of explained why they couldn't do free movement in the game uh, based on, you know, having to, the, the way the game has to render and, and it would cause overheating with the Gear VR. But man, let me tell you, get this on Oculus Rift or HTC Vive with free movement you know, oh, you got a winner. Priests disfigured by dark magic. Damn dark magic. Disfiguring things. But very cool. I love that, you know, I can stop and look off to the side, see what's going on, and then I just look back forward and the game starts to move again. So, yeah, as I said earlier, kudos on that. that that's definitely something I haven't seen before. fallen warrior brutally slain danger still lurks in these halls yeah and that's why i want to grab his mace and be able to swing it so like i said this as a full game equals win uh it's, it's kind of giving me vibes of like early elder scrolls games digging it Oh, check that out. I hope I'm not the sacrifice for that altar. A sacrificial chamber. The legends must be true then. It was said that the druids had committed unspeakably depraved acts in the effort to resurrect their god, Mamon. Damn druids and their depraved acts. All right, druids, get your shit together. Stop your depravity. Man, I'm digging this. I know I've probably said that like a hundred times, but... I mean, you know, I check out a lot of titles every day, and, and this, this is almost kind of like a little breath of fresh air on the Gear VR. I'm telling you, this is showing me that good graphics... You know, traditional gameplay styles are possible. Um, if they could find a way to give this free movement, whew, man, that would be insane. I would totally play this. Okay, so it looks like we've got our second choose-your-own-adventure type choice here. So, the eternal question, left or right? Well, I always try to stick to the right, so we're going to go that way. Oh, that almost made me jump a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, whoa, hey, what happened? Oh, I fell through the floor. Oh, okay. Uh oh, shit. What? Hey, now. Um, you, you're looking at me? Don't look at me. It's okay. I, I, I didn't do nothing. Say, man. Whoa! Oh, right in my face. Oh, I love how it switches to the third-person perspective, and I just kicked you back to the pit of hell that you came from. That's right. And then jumped in to go after you. Oh, and there you are. All right, so fight or flee. Fight or flee. I, you know, we got to fight, man. I got a shield. I got a sword. You're going down. Block. Parry. Oh, man, you should have parried. I, I, like, cut that guy in half. Yeah, hit him, hit him, get him. See, right here, man, I would be button mashing. I'd be just taking you out. That's right, son, run away. I got you, I got you. Oh, right there. Impaled you on my sword of death. 
All right. So very, very, very cool. Loving this game. Some what way is that noise? Darth Vader. Wait, no. Um, something scary. I don't know. I'm traversing into the depths of the darkness. Oh, I'm going to hit my head on that rock. See, and that's the other reason, I, I, man, this needs to come to Rift, because positional tracking in here would just give it that extra little bit. Oh, it's smog. You got me a dragon. A sleeping dragon? The villagers made no mention of such a beast. Oh, let sleeping dragons lie, buddy. I don't want to mess with him. Okay, what do we got? Fight, free, uh, flee, fight, or loot? Uh, I'm going to loot you. I'm going to steal from you. Let's see what happens. Oh, smacked me with his tail. I should have known better. It's not like I'm a hobbit with a ring of invisibility. So... Okay, I have died, and you know what? I like to keep these short, so I guess this will be a as good a place as any to end this video. But man, let me tell you, if you have a spare three bucks kicking around in your wallet and you own a Gear VR, you owe it to yourself to grab a copy of this game. This has been an absolutely amazing experience, and I cannot wait to see what's left in here. Now, the Reddit post that I saw this afternoon said, you know, if you kind of just tear through it, you got about 15 to 20 minutes of gameplay. If you go and do all the cinematics, I, I, the developer said it's closer to 30. So, you know, at three bucks for, you know, 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay, I, and it has a little replayability for the choose your own adventure, I highly, highly recommend this. So I'm going to throw a link down in the description, as always, for you to grab it, um, you know. But thank you so much for watching today on Lunchtime with my Gear VR. As always, if you watched this far to the end of the video, you guys are my heroes. And if this was your first time coming in to check out what I do on the channel today, man, I can't thank you enough. Uh, if you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, uh, take a look through my videos. I've got some great Oculus Rift content in there, and a few Gear VR, uh, I mean, lunchtime with my Gear VR videos. I've got a few HTC Vive videos in there from a time that I got to borrow one. But man, I am so happy to have you along for the ride. And if you like what you saw, smash subscribe. Come along with me the next time I traverse into a dungeon and get my ass kicked by a dragon or whatever else I'm going to do in VR. But for me today, guys, some pizza calling my name. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.